The family is still waiting for justice almost five years after their son was murdered at a gas station in Lawrence. Every year, the family of Kyle Jobin has held a motorcycle ride in his honor, hoping to generate leads in the case. Emily Longnecker is here now with why this might be the last year for the ride as the family fights to hold on to hope of finding his killer. Well, this year's Kyle's Ride will kick off this Saturday at the Hoosier Veterans Assistance Foundation. Kyle's dad is an Air Force veteran, and he thought this would be a good way to honor his son while helping this state's veterans. He says, though, this is the last year for an organized ride in Kyle's memory. Kyle was born at a Navy base in Okinawa. He was born into a military family. So it only felt fitting, says Joe Jobin, to remember his son while doing something to honor veterans. Kyle may be gone, but will never be forgotten and we want to make sure that his name is kept alive and so this is one way I think we can do it in a positive way. The U.S. Military Vets Motorcycle Club that Jobin belongs to is having their annual meeting this weekend in Indy. So Kyle's parents thought including members in Kyle's ride would be a great way to honor their son. It's difficult um, but I want a positive remembrance of my son. And if it's, you know, a group of people getting together and riding motorcycles and donating to HVAP and to Kyle's scholarship, that's the way, great way to remember your child. It's been nearly five years since Kyle's murder outside a Lawrence gas station. He was home from college for Christmas break and went out to buy cigarettes. A witness at the time saw four youths in hoods shoot the 19-year-old in his car. Four people involved in the murder. I mean, four people don't just keep that secret. When the Jobins first started hosting Kyle's Ride, they thought it would generate leads in the case. I'm not sure if the, getting it out there is going to bring in that lead. I still hope. <laughs> you don't want to stay, you're going to stop. But I just don't know what the most effective way is to do it. The Jobins don't want to give up hope, but they're also realistic. I think we have come to realize after this many years, if it doesn't happen, we had our son set up for a glorious 19 years. Um, he's gone. He'll never be forgotten. Ever. And this year's ride kicks off Saturday here at 345 at HVAC. Folks here will be collecting non-perishable goods for homeless vets. They'll also be collecting donations for Kyle's scholarship fund through Vincennes University. John? All right. Thank you. Emily Longnecker reporting tonight. And as